this is Stephanie Manley, and you know me from CoffeeCat.com, but today I am working my way through my old home economics book from junior high school to where I can teach you how to cook just like I was taught how to cook. And today we're making French toast, and it's very, very easy to make. And everyone, or practically everyone, has some leftover bread and an egg and some milk, and guess what? That's all you need to make a nice breakfast or lunch, doesn't matter. Okay, so I am using a griddle here. Now, if you don't have one, you can use a skillet that's gonna work just, just as well. But I'm using my um, griddle because I love being able to make so many pieces at once. So this is really, really easy to do. You need a few ingredients, not too many. You need bread. We're gonna use a quarter cup of milk. Now, ideally, you should try to measure liquid ingredients in a liquid measuring cup because they're more accurate this way. If you don't have one, that's okay. But if you do, grab that one. We're gonna use one egg. Now, I'm using a large egg. If you don't, if you only have small eggs, you might wanna use a couple, but just one egg. We need just a little bit of salt because that helps everything taste a little bit better. We're gonna use sugar because this recipe was developed a long time ago. We used to stick sugar in everything. No, actually, sugar's pretty good in here. And just a sprinkle of cinnamon if you like. That's gonna add some great flavor. So let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're simply gonna take our egg, we're going to crack it in our bowl, and we're just going to beat it up. Then we're gonna add in our milk, and we're gonna continue to, to beat this all together. And you want to beat it until it's all nice and creamy and yellow. And at this point, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. This makes it taste really good. And we're going to add just a little bit of salt. If you have a measuring thing, you might want to use about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. You don't need hardly any at all. And then we need just a sprinkle of cinnamon. And if you want to measure it, about a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon should be plenty. All right, and we're just going to continue to whisk this in here together. Now, before I cook anything on the griddle, I'm just going to put down a little bit of butter. If you have non-stick spray, that'll also work. And we're just going to put our butter on the griddle so our bread won't stick. Then all you need to do is take your bread, and dip it in, and dip it in. You don't need it for it to soak in or anything like that. And you're just gonna put it on the griddle, just like that. Okay, and you're just gonna let these cook for about two, two and a half minutes on each side. They'll get nice and golden brown. Now, if it's cooking faster than that, turn down your heat because it's up too high. If you're using just a regular electric stove or a gas stove, I would put it on between low and medium so it doesn't cook too fast. Nobody likes burnt French toast. So after about another minute or so, we're gonna flip these over and let them cook on the other side. So we flipped over our French toast and it's cooked now on the second side for a couple of minutes. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take these off. And here you go. You have a great big stack of French toast and wasn't that easy to make. So please give this video a big thumbs up and if you're learning how to cook, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you'd like to cook and I will help you learn how to cook that recipe. Thanks for watching.